OnePlus's next Android flagship promises quicker charging and a faster display, among a host of other improvements. But unlike last year, there is one significant thing missing. Take a sec to subscribe to Android Central so you don't miss our hands-on coverage of the OnePlus 8T coming soon, and we'll jump right in. So the OnePlus 8T is almost upon us, and the pace of leaks has not slowed, helped along by some early announcements from OnePlus itself. The most notable upgrade in the OnePlus 8T is the jump up to a 120Hz display, putting it on equal footing with the OnePlus 8 Pro in terms of smoothness. The jump from 90 to 120 hz isn't as huge as going from 60 to 90 but it is appreciated all the same. That screen this time looks like it's actually going to be flat, unlike the curved screen of the middle of OnePlus 8, and further leaks point to a 6.55 inch display size and Full HD Plus resolution which is the same as the OnePlus 8. In an interview with TechRadar, OnePlus founder Pete Lau confirmed the 80s higher refresh rate and that it will carry an A Plus rating from DisplayMate. Lau also mentions that it'll use a new kind of 2.5D glass in order to hit a peak brightness level of 1000 nits, so regardless of price, this should be one of the best looking phone displays out there. Next up is 65W warp charging, long rumoured and recently confirmed by OnePlus itself. It seems likely to use the same dual cell battery charging technology as Oppo's SuperVOOC 2 spec, Oppo and OnePlus of course share that common parent company. That technology should be significantly quicker than the current Warp Charge 30T, and apparently can refill a dead 8T to a full day's power in just 15 minutes. What's unclear is whether it'll also support the wireless Warp Charging spec of the OnePlus 8 Pro, and given the 8T's likely price point, I'd say probably more likely it won't. Similar story with water resistance, I'd expect OnePlus to give the same sort of reassurance as with the regular OnePlus 8, but without any kind of official IP rating. As for the physical design, our best look at the 8T comes from the reliable on leaks and price barber, which have published these CAD renders based on official blueprints. As you can see, the design is kind of like a souped up OnePlus Nord, with a flat display and only very slight chin area down below. And the front face is a pretty close match to this image, which was discovered in beta firmware for the OnePlus 8 series. It certainly looks like this is the 8T, and interestingly we're also seeing a smaller hole punch camera up in the top left corner there. On a related note, around the back there is a quad camera setup that promises to sit somewhere between the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro in terms of photographic capabilities. The main camera has a 48 megapixel sensor, and we believe this will be an upgraded sensor beyond the Sony IMX586 used in the OnePlus Nord and OnePlus 8. The most likely candidate for the 8T is the top-end IMX689 sensor which is already used in the 8 Pro, and that's one of the best sensors in any Android phone. In addition, you've got 16 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth sensing for portraits. There's still no dedicated telephoto, but the 48 megapixel main camera should give you plenty of wiggle room for hybrid zoom shots. Elsewhere, in terms of core specs, we're looking at a pretty well known quantity here. Multiple leaks are pointed to a Snapdragon 865 or 865 Plus powering the 8T, with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of base storage. There is a bit of confusion about whether it uses the 865 or 865 Plus since these show up very similarly in benchmarking apps. OnePlus's software is also in the midst of a gigantic overhaul with the new Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11 just about to conclude its open beta in the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro. It's a big visual change, borrowing several elements from Samsung's One UI, and the OnePlus 8T will be the first phone to ship with this new version. So OnePlus fans picking up the new phone will definitely get a UI that takes a big step away from the vanilla Android look and feel they might be familiar with. One thing we're not expecting to see this year, however, is a OnePlus 8T Pro. We've confirmed with our own sources that the 8T is the only version coming, so the OnePlus 8 Pro will still live on as the top tier device in OnePlus's lineup. It's not too surprising given the OnePlus 7T Pro was almost identical to the 7 Pro last year, with only minor camera and internal changes, and in fact that model wasn't even released in the US because it was so similar. So we'll have to wait for the OnePlus 9 Pro in early 2021 to see the next top tier OnePlus phone. In the meantime, the OnePlus 8T will land on October 14th, and Twitter chatter points to a European price possibly around the 799 euro mark. Hit the comments to let us know what you think of the OnePlus 8T based on the information we have so far, and subscribe so you don't miss our hands-on coverage coming soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.